What's going on guys? Uh, let's just jump right into it. We have uh, an awesome viewer video of the week today. Uh, my buddy Vince has been dropping stuff in the Discord for like a hot minute now, a pretty long time, and he definitely deserves a shout out for all of his hard work. Um, link is in the description to check his content out if you're interested. Um, I would describe it as like a really gritty, grungy, raw, industrial style of metal, and uh, he doesn't he doesn't have any plans to stop soon. So uh, let's go support Vince and his channel, and then um, let's, ju let's jump into this on um, why you should not follow your passion and follow something else instead coming up. Okay, so before we jump into the pessimism, let's start with some optimism. Um, my personal advice after failing online is you should definitely spend your 20s trying to build the life that you want to live for the rest of your life. Um, if you see yourself being a professional musician, now is the time to go for it. I will say, have a backup plan. Um, I'm so grateful that I decided to go to school before jumping onto the music boat because uh, it would be so much harder to go back and change career career paths later. And uh, that's just because life happens. You know, relationships, responsibilities, um, everything gets harder the longer you wait. If you're young, um, now is the time to jump, so to speak, and see what crazy adventures you can wrap yourself up in. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, uh, here are my words of caution after pursuing music full-time for about three and a half years. I tried to turn my passion into a business, and that killed my passion, and I really don't think that this phenomenon is uncommon. So pursuing music was definitely the best thing I've done in terms of self-discovery, so in that, res in that respect, I definitely don't have any regrets. Um, I avoided that like quarter-life crisis feeling uh, that some of my friends have been through um, because I gave what I was truly interested in like everything I had from the beginning of 2016 till the end of 2019. I think that's right. So fast forward a few years, um, I sold all of my stuff in November 2019 and I haven't played drums in over a year. And honestly, that break has been lovely. Uh, not feeling the pressure to impress others or keep up on my chops. Um, it was just really good to clear my head because I was really frustrated that my passion, something I went all in on, had failed. Um, it couldn't pay the bills and that, you know, it made me resent it. So uh, here's my introspection. So one of my favorite creators on YouTube is Joshua Fluke. Uh, he's in the IT realm of things and he recommended a book called um, Unscripted. In it, the author says like, when a passion doesn't solve people's problems, um, passion isn't going to pay the bills. So for those of you who want to own or run a business, like me, um, consider what value you're going to create before you start that business endeavor. I always thought that like, if I had people following me, that money would just come from somewhere and uh, an opportunity would open up financially and it just never did. So uh, I didn't know how to create value in my particular market. And I'm telling you guys that uh, think about that before you dive into um, you know, music school or becoming a, a performer or some sort. Like, how are you gonna create value within your market, enough value that you can support yourself doing so? And I will say a little caveat to that is sometimes you just don't know until you try, um, but it's just something to be aware of that you're going to need to figure out in the future if you decide to pursue a passion of yours um, as a, as a full-time career. So following up on that, I want you guys to think about what your definition of success is. Um, for some people, earning $15,000 a year as a musician is making it um, because they're doing what they love and they're getting by. Uh, for myself, that wasn't the case. Uh, I wanted my cake and I wanted to eat it too. I, I wanted to be able to pay rent and not have to work uh, an eight to five. Um, so if you're going to pursue your passion, just clearly define how you want your passion to provide for yourself. Uh, if you're chasing money, like I did, um, just to get by, you'll inevitably do things that you wouldn't otherwise do just to pay the bills. Um, so a good example would be like, an, imagine an aspiring DJ settling on creating music for TV commercials because it pays the rent. Is he truly satisfied doing this in his career or you know, does, did he envision something different? Um, he's making music for a living, but is ultimately like where he pictured himself uh, when he started. So my message to you guys is ask yourself how much pain and anxiety you're willing to endure, and I will tell you how much uh, success you're going to achieve. Um, you won't grow into the person that you need to be in order to be successful if you avoid the uncomfortable and transformative work and pain um, by pursuing something you love doing all the time. 
So coming back around full swing uh, to the title of the video, I recommend don't follow your passion. Um, follow something that creates value for other people and you will learn to enjoy it. Um, when you provide meaning and purpose to other people, it just like, it comes naturally that you, you get wrapped up and caught up in it. And uh, I've learned over the past year or so of reflection that my purpose is really to help other people um, avoid the same potholes that I stepped in. I've always wanted to be a motivational or inspirational speaker of some sort. And uh, that's what fills my cup. And that's why I create these videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, come chat in the Discord, drop a meme in the subreddit, and I'll see all, all you pounders later.